all week long. I mean, what a roller coaster, mm -hmm. right? With your Astros. Now, this is a series. This is a series. Yes, Philly is not home. giving it up for free, that's for sure. So we um, have been getting you updated here, but also in Philly, too. That's right. Sally Mack, Ruben Dominguez joining us live this morning to talk about the final stop they had to make before heading back home to Houston. I'm guessing it has to do with food. Is this involving food? Surprisingly, not this time, guys, not this time. But what a series it has been, right? You had the home run derby in game three. You had the no hitter in game four and then a couple of defensive gems last night in game five. So we are excited to finally head home now, Ruben. Absolutely. And I will tell you that, you know, uh, in the six days that we've been here, we've been able to see a lot of the city. And if you've never been to Philadelphia, you turn down any corner and there is some slice of American history staring you in the face. That's true. And there's also a lot of art around town. Uh, we visited one final landmark that is um, a pretty big part of the city's identity. Philly is known for its history, rocky and cheesesteaks. But one of the most photographed landmarks is love itself. Since 1976, the artwork has stood tall in the background of countless pictures and even wedding ceremonies. As we say goodbye to Philly, Ruben and I one more. had to get our own picture. Yeah. Good to see y'all, some familiar faces. The city of brotherly love gave these Astros fans a World Series to remember. I'm glad it's going back to Houston. It'll be good for Houston. I, I, I would like to see them win at home. It's better than, you know, uh, when in, in, in L.A. Rick and Kristen both work at Minute Maid Park in the Diamond and Insperity Clubs. A guest surprised the two with tickets in Philly, allowing them to see the Astros as a fan. You would think you would, we'd be able to see him at work, but we're so busy. So it's, it's nice to see it finally as a fan. Yes, ma'am. Working and not getting to see it and actually getting to be in the mix like with all the Phillies fans. After a few days in the city, we can honestly say we love you, Philadelphia. Phillies fans, not so much.